something for a second. If you were eating at a restaurant like TJ Fridays and you found a snake's head in your food, what would you do? That really happened. Yeah, I know. What would you do? Yeah, what would you do if you found a snake's head in your food? Sue them? Yeah, sue them and then get Yeah, because it has venom in it. What would you, you do? Still eat it. Well, it depends on if it's a venomous snake or not. If it's just like a bone constrictor or something, it's not so bad. Yeah. It's just a head staring at your face that kind of, you know, probably going to scare you. Would you eat it still? No. no. Is it part of the food or is it just randomly there? It's just randomly there in the food. I'd probably, probably ask for a new meal. I'd probably order something else. Yeah. But what happened if it was part of the meal then? Then I'd eat it. Then that would be expected. I would eat the snakehead. Yeah. Do you want to throw it at the manager? No. I'd be more surprised than angry. Well, if you were eating at a restaurant like TJ Friday's and you found a snake's head in your food, what would you do? I would, do them. I would go to the manager and tell him that I want free food for life. <laughs> so, so, so would you, what, what, then what would you do with the snake's head, though? I'd eat it. it. Oh, you gotta keep the snake. I'd have them cook it a little more. It's make sure it's sanitary and hold them liable. You wouldn't give it to a vegetarian or not. No, definitely not. That would be mean. Well, you should be thankful. At least the guy didn't stick a knife in your sandwich.